Even the September event is about a month and a half away. We now have access to iOS 18 beta version. That means that we can check out all the new features we'll be getting in iPhone 16 when it comes out. That does not include Apple intelligence, which is yet to come out. So here are my top seven features that iOS 18 will bring to your iPhones that you might want to check out for yourself before it comes out for everyone. So first, let's start with the home screen. And if you're an Android user, then you might just want to skip this portion of the video because you already know what it is. So with this new update, you can now organize all of your apps in any grid form that you like which allows you to separate different apps according to their categories as you can see here and if you hold on to the icons then you'll get more options like it requires face id in order to access the app you can quickly access your playlist on spotify or you might want to turn it into a widget if that's available for that app itself and speaking of widgets you can now directly customize and resize your widgets instead of going into the custom menu and i know this is very subtle changes but sometimes this is all you need and to access this feature all you have to do is just go Go to the edit and hit customize and there you will see how you would like to set your home screen appearance. Things that you can do such as you can make icons bigger on the screen which looks clean to me. You can also change it to dark over dark background or you can make it light over dark background but the one that I'm not sure about if I'm gonna like it or not is the tinted where you can set pretty much any color that you would like that is unified with all the other app icons and widgets which doesn't look great to be honest and at least right now since all the third party apps still Still have to update their icons in order to support this new feature which might end up looking really good in future but personally right now it is definitely not a feature for my style next let's talk about all the new updates with the control center so this year apple gave us three pages for control center with lots of customization options and just like your home screen you can now also place any controls anywhere you prefer or you can make it bigger or smaller however you would like to set up and when you swipe up you can see more things that you can do directly from control center which does add one more step so i don't know how many people will be using that every day personally the biggest control change that i was asking for years and you probably asking for years too is on the lock screen where now you can place anything that you would like to access it quickly instead of camera and torch so for myself i've set it up to notes and Suzem, so i can quickly write down any ideas that come to my mind and also at the same time i can recognize which song is playing using Suzem. and this feature is really useful for me and probably for a lot of other people because i don't know how many times I've missed songs when I hear them in public. And speaking of writing ideas quickly, Notes have brought an essential update where you can now simply just record yourself with the audio and it will transcribe everything for you and create notes, which is very handy tool, especially if you are recording a tutorial or a lecture that you want to read it later on. Now let's talk about the biggest update of iOS 18 for iPhones and iPads this year, and that is the calculator app. But that's actually the fact because calculator app brought so many new features compared to everything else in iOS 18. Because because once you open the calculator app now you can click on this calculator icon and you will see all the different options such as scientific and math notes with the scientific option you can do everything that your ti84 was providing and this new math note feature you can just now write down any equation that you want to solve with your own handwriting and it will respond to your request with answers and graphical representation and this is really useful especially if you have ipad with apple pen as it's easier to write down equations that you want to solve now there are all the other small improvements and updates that are coming to iOS 18, which includes satellite texting in an emergency situation, which works in a similar way of how you would do a satellite calling. The all new RCS texting support, which gives you seamless texting experience between Android and iOS devices, where you can now react with emojis and the person on the other side with the different system would be able to see that as well. And Apple introduced a all new accessibility feature that is called vehicle motion cues. And that apparently helps you with the motion sickness by providing you these dots around your screen that moves according to how your vehicle moves so if your vehicle is moving left they will move on those directions and if they are moving further then it will move in that direction so these were all my top favorite features of this year's ios 18 update and honestly not a whole lot in terms of design but the main highlight of this year was the apple intelligence which i will make a separate video about it when it comes out so subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for that and until then you might want to check out this other video so do that and i'll see you in the next one peace